Hello, this is Mike, nostressmike.com. I, I, I tell you, um, I, uh, I don't know what's going on with me. Uh, <clears throat> normally, I like to talk about things that I know about. And it's funny because all the stuff that I know about, I don't, I don't have any degrees, I don't have any, any uh, diplomas or certificates, I don't have nothing. So, you know, so when you look at it like that, you think, what the hell's he now? And so, it's funny because, you know, I talk about safety and uh, personal safety and I cover all aspects of personal safety and the thing is uh, I started doing uh, uh, the tomahawk and uh, it's funny because uh, I've been looking on YouTube you know I, there, you don't, where I'm at you don't find people with tomahawks you find them with machetes and they fight with machetes down here but you don't find them with tomahawks so I have to go to YouTube to find out about the tomahawks. And I find out everything that I see on the tomahawk, I can't relate to at all. Well, one thing is I am not a tomahawk specialist. I don't specialize in the tomahawk. No, I don't. Uh, I specialize in the combat itself. And uh, like I say, no certificates or nothing, but like I say, I've had plenty, plenty of experience in life and death combat, hand to hand. So, with just that, I find it easy to pick up anything to do with combat, uh, especially close quarters combat. And uh, so that's kind of what makes me, I hate to say it, but an expert in that field. And uh, so then, so it was my experience that was able, that makes me stand out in the, even in the tomahawk field. But uh, it's the experience that happens. So then here I am now. I'm talking about uh, emotional and mental health. <laughs> yeah. And I'm thinking, boy, you are a goofball. What do you know about mental and emotional health? And, uh, you know, I mean, it's nothing I've talked about. It's nothing that was brought to my attention throughout my life. I've never had, you know, I've never, it's never come to me like that. So how could I possibly, I don't have the experience like I would for uh, uh, combat. So why would I have anything to say that would be worth listening to? I was married to the same woman for 41 years, starting at 21 years old, or 22 years old. And uh, so I don't know anything about uh, emotional and mental health. Why don't I know anything about it? Because uh, she, she kept me in line. She made me Every time I did something or said something that she thought was odd, she would make me, she would hold my feet to the fire, make me explain myself. And you gotta remember, she came from here. This place, they don't do violence. They don't know anything about violence. They weren't brought up to it. So, when I, after we got married, and I'd get into a fight, it would always come to her attention, well, why would you hurt this person? So I just couldn't go out and hurt people just because I could. 
I had to be able to justify to her. <laughs> you know. Okay. So, in other words, my losing emotional control, in other words, uh, losing my temper, acting goofy, uh, uh, losing my mental, my mental control. Uh, remember, I came from Vietnam, uh, and my wife picked me up right after I stopped drinking. I did uh, two years of, of heavy abuse to myself after I came back from Vietnam. So, uh, uh, at that time, my mental capacity was pretty messed up. So, I wasn't mentally healthy. Uh, I lost my mom when I was five. I lost my father when I was 25. Uh, so I really didn't have the proper guidance. I didn't have the place to go to ask questions. So my emotional and mental health had a lot to be des uh, desired. Uh, lucky my wife came along. And lucky she knew how to talk to me properly to let my mind open to what she was saying instead of saying things that would close me up. Uh, now this, I know this, this video isn't about my wife, but uh, what it what it does tell me and so now here I am want to talk about emotional and mental health I'll tell you what now I'm running around with uh, now I'm single now so I'm running around with single guys and most are in their 40s and uh, uh, I don't know where the older ones are. People my age, stuff like that. I don't know where they are. I don't see them. I'm not around them. I am around the young ones. And uh, they do. They are not emotionally and mentally healthy. <laughs> yeah, they're not. <laughs> and so when I go to them for advice and trying to learn and think and understand. Um, that's where I've learned I was m emotionally and mentally uh, healthy. Yes, when I was married, had children, raising the family, yes, it was tough times. Yes, many times my emotional and mental health might have been of question. <laughs> Uh, because you do get confused, you're coming on to things you don't know anything about, and no one can help you. So, but I was able to stay together and keep things working. Uh, and like I say it was because of my wife. I'm not. I'm not taking that credit. Uh, but what I do realize is now I can see the weakness. And I, I, you know, for one thing, I've been dating, and I have noticed that, man, these women have problems. Uh, it's, it's, it's amazing to me. You gotta remember, this is a new world for me. And so, I'm kind of amazed on the problems that they have. And then we go back to what I, I talk about before is taking personal responsibility and I don't believe in equal rights that means t 
to me, in my world, a man acts like a man and a woman acts like a woman. And it's the man's responsibility. I made videos talking about manning up and making promises and one of those was promises to your wife. When you get married, you are responsible for her emotional and mental health. So when I see these women that aren't doing well with their emotional and mental health, it's easy for me to blame them because of personal responsibility. But I don't believe in equal rights, so I believe the man is responsible. And now, since I am running around with these men that took responsibility at one time and right now they don't, I can see they are not taking their emotional and mental health. Um, they're not taking care of it. And since they're not taking care of it, uh, I'm, I, I don't want to say it's the, the woman because, I mean it's the man, because just because there's no equal rights, what I'm saying is the man takes the lead, but he needs the woman for guidance. So I see both of them have let each other down. The woman should have done a better job with her husband on guiding him, learning how to communicate with him. Remember, men and women communicate a whole lot different. And I've given suggestions on women, uh, on just what, I, what works on me. And, um, but the thing is, our emotional and mental health is very important. We need to stop every once in a while and reevaluate. And even I mean, to ourselves, we need to reevaluate to ourselves. And what I have learned now uh, is since I've been dating, now I have to stop and reevaluate with the person I'm dating. Because like I say, they're not right. <laughs> and they have to understand that it's a responsibility that they have to take care. That falls under personal responsibility even though they don't have a man. It's the same thing with me. I have to take, that's what's making this being single rough. I have to take personal responsibility over my own emotional and mental health. And to tell you the truth, I'm starting to wonder, I don't know if we as humans were designed to do that. That is why when you become a single, you start hanging around other singles. Um, I don't. I don't know if you see, but I, see, I got kind of a lonely life with nobody around me. Uh, well, besides that, I got the communications problem also. We can't talk. But besides that, these single friends, they might be friends, they might be single, but that doesn't mean I have to go along with their uh, emotional and mental uh, thought process. And I don't. That's why I'm not around them very much. I do need some, I do need to socialize someone. So I do get around them somewhat, not all that much. Uh,
where I'm going with this is I want to start talking more about um, emotional and mental health because now since I am single I have found it's much more difficult to stay healthy emotionally and mentally. Uh, I don't have anyone I can trust to bounce ideas off of. I don't have anyone that I can love. And one part of that is the physical contact. I've always, that's the one thing that I know I've missed a lot, and that is the physical contact with my wife. Uh, we held hands a lot, we hugged a lot, we kissed a lot. That has a lot to do with emotional and mental health. Emotional and mental health, they, they kind of go together. So, uh, it is a contact, the physical contact that is necessary for men. Hola. ¿Cómo está? Can I mean your name? Okay. How are you? Good, good. The hotel? See? Sí? Go all around. Go down there? No, no, down. Abajo. Abajo. Abajo and all around. 130. Okay. Yeah. Well, this is Mikasa. This is your house. Yeah, see. <laughs> okay. Ahí venimos a tu casa más tarde. Okay, okay. 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 There. Making physical contact or emotional contact. Right here. But, uh, yeah, um, but that's where I'm driving at on this video. I'm going to leave this this in. You all heard me talk my my Spanish. So it's not that I'm a complete cripple. Uh, I say I do speak in one word sentences. <laughs> so, but I was able to make let them understand that this wasn't part of the hotel. Uh, uh, but yeah, you need to have uh, that physical contact. Uh, as a man, I am pretty sure you need it as a woman. Uh, my experience, my limited experience, uh, now since I'm single, has been the women I've been uh, getting out with have a serious lack of loving. I'm not necessarily talking about the sex part. I am talking about uh, the emotional part of loving. And that is touching, making physical contact. So, uh, but, uh, and I say, I told you my wife would, would take my arm. She knew how to took, take my arm and give it a squeeze just right. And that would calm me down. Because she could sense when I'm getting ready to whip up on somebody. And so then she would get a hold of my arm and give me a good caress. If they deserve being whipped on, she would let go of my arm and step back. She didn't want to get any blood on her. So, but, but anyway, what I'm saying is there's going to be more. I'm going to talk about more about the, the emotional and uh, mental health. Uh, that, because that is something I've been um, working on hard now since I'm single. And I haven't figured out yet how I'm going to handle this. Uh, many tell me, many, that might not be the right word, everyone, everyone has been telling me to get used to it. Uh, I don't think it is emotionally and mentally healthy. I need that emotional contact with somebody. And uh, 
uh, I'm not going to get used to not having it. Uh, at least my attitude is going to be like that. Uh, but I say, I've been coming across a lot of men and women that have accepted the idea of staying single. None of them, in my limited experience, seem to be emotionally and mentally healthy. This is Mike. No stress, Mike. Dot com.